Hey guys, I'm gonna do a quick unboxing of these pollution filters they sell online. Uh, basically, I got two about a couple of months ago. I never really used it because I never thought you know I would have to use this thing. But at the same time, it's nice to take a look. I'll unbox it so you know what to expect. Now, this is definitely not an N95 filter or a P95 filter, or it's more of closer to like a dust mask to me. So I never really used it. Open it. I've seen this used in Asia in Beijing when I was traveling there a year or two ago because of the pollution in the air um, and people usually wear this more of a air pollution thing than anything else I guess if you're biking in a urban environment or walking in an urban environment with a lot of you know dust and pollen in the air and you're you know out, have allergic stuff to it then yeah this is meant for that as a pollution filter it comes with four of these PM 2.5 filters that basically um, they're individually sealed now this is the first time i'm opening it so big disclaimer i don't know if this is good for you bad for you i don't know but this is basically my first time looking at this thing um normally for my diy projects i won't use something like this because it seems way too fashionable in other words you know i i work with a lot of diys where it's like painting and stuff it's gonna easily get dirtied Compared to my n95 filter with the exhaust valve it's actually pretty neat it's super light and it's compared to that one but the facial sh um, bands or it's held by um, ear loops instead of a band that pulls the back of your head and it does come with these PM25 filters that you're supposed to add to it and it does come with a metal um, nose bridge as well so it's basically confirms your face so let's open one of these filters up and see how to put this thing on um, it looks like there's um, adhesive pads on these things so they are contoured to the mask, so it goes around your face. And let me peel one of these things off and put this on. I'm just aligning it to the edge, so that's what I'm doing. I think I have this upside down though. Uh, let me let me put it on first and see if it works. I wish there was like some sort of instructions or not instructions, but I wish there was like a directional arrow or something um, on this thing, but. Let me put it on one way and see if it works. It looks like the nose piece, I think it looks like I have it upside down, to be honest. I might have to switch it around so the nose piece actually fits. So let me take a look. Huh, yeah, I think I did. Let me upside down it. I'm gonna flip it around real fast. Yeah, the instructions weren't really that clear. It just says to add this thing on, but I'm looking at the contours of it and it seems like the nose piece is upside down. So make sure it's right side up. There is like a nose bridge metal there and there is this valve. So the instructions, I, I could barely make out the instructions. I you know, called up my friend who gave it to me. It's like, and he said, hey, no, you can actually wash these things. We use it, you know, all the time for urban, during the urban, you know, in, when they go to school and stuff like that. It's like, okay, that's cool. So you're supposed to take off this valve that sandwiches the exterior fabric and that's how it's held. And you could basically wash this. So and replace the filters like this paper filter comes off you use it after a day or whatever and then you replace the filter of a new one and I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back because I have no need to use this right now and I'm gonna put it back in the plastic later but you're supposed to take off the valve before you wash it so you don't damage that um, the rubber valve on there that sandwiches the fabric I might want to do some mods to this because I could see if after using it three, two or three times it might start fraying the pot since it's not um, bonded where the gasket is or where the valve is so I'm afraid that that area might just start you know fraying so what I'm going to do is I'll probably make some mods to this um, mask I have two so I can always try it again and now I mentioned I really rarely would use something like this because I have N95 filtered masks for my DIY projects this is more of a I guess if I was in an urban environment or if I was bicycling in a dusty area I'll probably use something like this because it looks it's comfortable and it's also um, conforms to my face but I don't expect to wear like an N95 filter, you know, when I'm biking, but I'm but a pollution filter like this, which is really comfortable, will probably be fine for biking or if I'm walking in an urban area where it has a lot of dust or in a dusty area, like in the desert, it might be useful too. Because I probably won't use an N95 filter for that. I'll probably use my N95 filters for my DIYs. <laughs> Anyways, if you want more information about N95 filters, go to 3M.com, which is, you know, who makes a lot of these things for specs. For myself, this is more of a pollution filter that has that feels comfortable and nice. Definitely not the form factor is good, so you could carry it around with you, but definitely not um, nothing like a P100 filter that I have for my heavy duty organic 
for painting and stuff like that and also uh, woodworking uh, so yeah be careful what you're using for filters I've definitely you know big disclaimer look at the manufacturers um, websites for more information on like the different OSHA stuff please thumbs up give a like for this unboxing if you like it and of course big thank you for everyone watching oh stay tuned for um i probably already did this already but i made another video with another n95 filter this is a filter i bought about a year or two years ago when i started prepping for stuff stuff like this um it's basically a healthcare professional foldable packable filter and this is pretty neat it's basically folds flat it's meant for healthcare particulate uh, respirator i bought this I think about two years ago from a um, healthcare supplier and I bought like five or six of these things because they are so flat folding or ten of these I probably bought but this was so many years ago I opened it up because I had it in storage for so long I want to check the rubber bands if they wore out or they uh, disintegrated or not anyways thanks for watching guys watch for other um, DIYs as well as other reviews um, from my from car reviews other stuff and also how to fix things so I'll see you next time thanks for watching like subscribe leave a bell Please.